what's happening YouTube all my Robin Hood traders out there that follow these videos trying to make that extra money because you've learned that's taking the money instead of buying Air Jordans saving that money and letting that money work for you puts you in a greater position for quality of life which is what we call life gains today I'm going to review just how to do the wheel strategy of selling calls selling puts but before we do that please subscribe to this channel share this valuable information with other people that are looking to make money doing nothing but letting their money make it for them now i've been doing this for a couple of months now and i've been keeping track and this is my documented track of what i did in september and so last week i did a workhorse put for 28 dollars and it dropped below 28 i got assigned to 100 shares but I still made the 115. Remember, they pay you that money up front. And right now, I took that workhorse that I got assigned last week. And as you can see in the second to the bottom line, the one that says workhorse $29 strike, I took that workhorse and I sold a call, meaning that I put those 100 shares back up. I got paid 135 and we'll see what happens at the end of the week this Friday. But overall, I had a great month in September. And as you can see, um, my profits for September was 1706. I had to subtract $666 that I lost on Best Buy because I did a put, the damn, damn stock dropped in price and I got stuck with it and I just did call actions. And so I decided to sell it when I seen it seemed like the market was going down so I sold it and I lost six hundred and sixty six dollars but the name of this game ladies and gentlemen is you continuously make more profit and you hedge your bets which is why I came out this month seventeen hundred in the good and in doing the wheel strategy for me it's a whole lot safer and easier than trying to get up here and look at stocks every single day it gives you time on the weekend to study a company that you're going to put money on um, understand their balance sheets making sure that they're a good company and with this wheel strategy ladies and gentlemen you will not lose money the most things you'll lose is time now best buy did drop so in essence you can say i lost money but i didn't feel like waiting for it to go back up and since time it has gone back up and i just didn't wait for it so the only thing you really have to lose in this game if you're going to use the wheel strategy is time and now we're going to jump on my robin hood account and i'm going to show you guys how this thing works all over again because i know some people are just finding these videos for the first time but if you really want to just make some money in the stock market being as safe as possible not having to be a day trader being beholden to that computer every single day but only having to take a look weekly this is a great way to do it and you can also do these calls for two weeks out months out whatever you want to do but i don't like tying up my cash that long i like to be in and out quickly so here we go we're going to jump on my account and i'm going to show you how to do calls and puts and i'll show you what i did with workhorse all right so this is my robin hood account and if you've been following along i'm going to do this every single time i make one of these videos showing people how to use the wheel strategy of option trading to make some consistent weekly money again I did workhorse and you can see there's my option right there I did a call and if you're not familiar with how that works let me show you again so I'll start here from the very top workhorse and I'm sorry I'm a little late with getting this video out so when you come to the stock you see that's the stock price right there over here it says trade workhorse for options and we'll click in there and I'm gonna just kind of walk you through it real nice and simple. And you would come here and you always wanna be doing sale. You can either sell a call, meaning that you'd be taking 100 shares of the stock, putting it up on the market, and you get paid the premium. Or you would sell a put, meaning you would put up cash times the strike price 100, and you would get this premium times 100. And before you do that, it is important that you guys check a couple of things so let me back out of here and show you what you need to check so number one always go in there and check the price of the stock see if it's close to the bottom of the 52 weeks or the high of the 52 weeks and for this particular stock let's see here you would click show more the low 
was a dollar and 32 cent and the high is 3059 and with this stock being so very close to its 52 week high i would definitely do sell a put unless you've already for whatever the reason got stuck with the stock in the way i did so you want to sell a put you come in here click on trade workhorse sell a put the next thing you want to check is you click on let's just say you're going to do this strike price you click on it and check this number implied volatility what's important about that there is no specific number range that is set implied volatility is kind of pertinent to each individual stock but the higher this number means the more volatility is going on with that stock meaning people are either doing a lot of buying or a lot of selling and for me when i really don't want to lose either the call or the put i like to see this number under 50 but again that depends on the stock because some stocks implied volatility of 50 might be high the scale goes from zero up to i've seen it 240 but it's just up to you and Robinhood also gives you you see this this little line that says chance of profit it tells you your chance of making money on that stock so right here with 144 implied volatility on this stock you have a 72 percent chance of making money so if you wanted to sell the put at a strike price of 26 bucks which is a dollar and 50 cent below the share price you would just come over here and knowing that you're going to get 75 dollars because remember you will multiply this by 100 and that would be 2600 dollars in cash you would have to have in your account to get those shares and Robinhood is going to pay you this which is $75 up front you simply click that you click continue you review your order you go ahead and put in one share make sure that's good for the day and that day expiring is October the 2nd and then you will click review and you're done and that's how you would make weekly money in the stock market and you could also do a call now if the stock is I like to do calls when the stock price is really, really close to the 52 week low. I like to just go ahead, buy the stock at this price and do calls because just think about it like this, ladies and gentlemen, you bought the stock for $27. Okay. And then you would start, let's just say you, you decide to sell a call, meaning that you're going to put those 100 shares of the stock up. Let's say you did it for $29. You're going to make a dollar and 50 cent if they call your stock at Friday meaning that the price of the stock goes above 29 plus you would have made the $95 so you're gonna get a dollar and fifty times a hundred plus the $95 you've walked away with a pretty good lick on that week some stocks that I'm looking at doing probably in the upcoming week is this thing right here I'm probably gonna try this in about two weeks Millie Millie is basically like um, a Shopify, but they've been around for a very, very long time. They're doing big business around the world. And you can also look at the balance sheets if you want to. Um, I do. And let's just take a look at what their low is. See, their low, 52 week low was 422. Their high is 1270. And right now, they're, they're closer to the high than they are the low. So I would sell a put on this stock depending upon what the implied volatility is. So let's go see sell, put, that would expire this coming Friday, October. And damn, they paying a whole lot of money. So it's just a matter of which one of these strike prices would I want, okay? And for me, I like to go as low as possible and still make a good amount of money. And on this stock, you can go real low down here. I would go to about 1025 you have almost an 80% chance of basically getting your money back. And this, the share price is 1040 right now. I mean, excuse me, the strike price is 1040. Right now, the share price is 1078. So it would have to drop somewhere around 30 bucks. And even if it did, you're still kind of well below the 52 week high. And you would make $1,025 off of it. But let's check the implied volatility. Now, see, that's pushing it for me. I like to see mine 
65 is probably about my max. I really like to stay around 55. But again, it just depends on the particular stock. Now, I've seen this particular stock run up to 155. So this is relatively low. Like I said, you kind of want to keep it low. So you would have to have, let's see here, that would be $104,000. And you would get that, but you would get your money back at the end of the week, ladies and gentlemen, as long as the stock price doesn't go below this number. It's a good way to make, if you've got some cash just sitting around somewhere, you find one of these stock that fits what you've got sitting around and you just make money off of it weekly. Now, what happens if you do get caught with the stock and it goes below this number? You just take those 100 shares and then you would sell a call and you make sure you sell a call higher than that number that you got called on. So if they called you on 1,040, you would want to sell higher than that. And then you would just pick one of these numbers that you would go higher. Now, I think that um, we're getting ready to see some volatility in the market because of the elections. And so I guess I want you guys to just be very safe when you pick these numbers. Be very, very safe. And that is going to definitely do it for this video. Don't forget to like the video, comment, subscribe, get yourself that life game. Leave me comments. Hit me on Instagram if you got questions. Now, not too many questions. Now, I ain't, I'm giving you all this stuff for free. But simple questions, I can get back to you guys pretty quick. And let me know how much money you guys have made so far that have been following me on these videos. And until that next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.